seen how to get to this stage of jacking your car up there is a video you can look at so let's take off the front wheel um, when it's done checking the outside for any cracks any bulges any tears and then we're going to move on to the actual tread itself in the center of the tire so we're looking for even wear and in these grooves are actual uh, tread bars which indicate the minimum tread depth tread depth sorry which are a legal requirement here in the UK of 1.6 millimeters. So just look for any nails or anything, you might as well do it while you've got the tire off. And then again, just as you did on the outside, you check on the inside again for bulges, wear, rips, tears, etc. So let's go through the components uh, in this area of the front wheel and brake assembly. So this is the suspension coil or spring, this is the suspension strut. This is the disc brake, or in some countries they call it the disc rotor. Generally it's going to be quite smooth all the way around. Now that's the brake caliper, and in there sit brake pads. So um, all this long item here is the track control arm, and uh, that's actually the track control rod end, or the track rod end. They sometimes wear to get a bit of a rattling. Uh, this is again, this is another, another angle of the strut and the, the coil or the suspension arm and the suspension spring. Again, some countries call it different things. So again, this is the, uh, the brake disc or the disc rotor, it should be free to move, uh, no scores on it, no marks, no cracks, if it is, get it changed. This is the disc, calip disc brake caliper, so in here sit your disc brake pads. So most commonly you're told by a mechanic if your brakes are gone, it's your brake pads that need replacing them. If your brake pads, that's that grey block there, are thinner than your screwdriver, and get them replaced. More often than not, there's an indicator that comes on on your dashboard by your speedo if the brake pads are very, very low. And there's one on this side as well. They do vary from vehicle to vehicle, but there's just two on this one, one each side of the disc rotor or the, uh, the, the, the brake disc. Um, so again, we're looking for scores and cracks uh, or any gouges in there. And as you saw, I had to knock off the wheel um, with a little bit of uh, a little bit of force and a block of wood. Never, never whack them too hard. Never whack it metal on metal. It could crack or shatter it. But putting copper grease on should help it easier next time. Done. <laughs>